I love everything about this cat. Kepler's consistently just a wonderful animal. He's so cute. Everything, yeah. even when he's not good, is cute. <laughs> Did you say even when he's not good? Yeah, every, he just does everything and it's cute. It's like, oh, I'm drinking water. Oh, it's so cute. Like, oh, I'm destroying the blinds. Oh, I'm so cute. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Monday. It has occurred to me that over the past few days or weeks, possibly, we've been talking a whole lot about preparing for this trip. And I haven't been too concerned with talking about the trip itself because I figured that breakfast stream would have spoiled it and this vlog is coming out much later and it wasn't a big deal. But that's not fair to folks that are following along with the vlogs very specifically and are interested in knowing what this trip is. Uh, so allow me to finally and explicitly explain. We are going to China. And that's, that's a big trip. The interesting thing about this trip is that it was actually planned before the trip to Japan that we took earlier this year. Um, we planned that trip in December, but it was November that we planned the trip to China. And the trip to China is not a trip that we planned necessarily. I mean, we were involved. But it's not like our trip. Every other year, we go on a trip with uh, Mal's dad and stepmom, uh, Mark and Rhonda, and we've been doing that for a while. Uh, many years ago, uh, and all of these have been on the vlog if you want to watch them, we went to Ireland, then we went to Greece, then we went to Arizona, which sounds, I guess, less exotic than the other two, but Arizona was actually gorgeous. We got the chance to see the Grand Canyon, but we also got to see Antelope Canyon and some other things that were astoundingly beautiful. Um, and now, the trip is China, and it's it's a pretty big trip, especially considering that we already took a big trip this year. We've actually been really worn out from Japan and still recovering from that trip because, you know, vlogs have been behind. Obviously, TRG Coliseum and moving did not help with any of that, but um, yeah, we're actually preparing now for a two-week trip, uh, actually going to quite a, quite a few places in China. Yeah. Um, we're going to... We're starting off in Shanghai. Yeah. And then we're going to take a regional flight to... Oh, I don't know, but we're going on a river. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. This is a river. See, I look at the names and I cannot... Yangtze? Yangtze? I think it's just... I think, I think Yangtze River, it's a river. Is, is a very Western way of pr pronouncing <laughs> that, but that's fine. People understand. We're going to Shanghai. We're doing a river cruise on the Yangtze River. Uh -huh. We're uh, going to Beijing and we're going to Xi'an. Yes, to see the Terracotta Warriors. Yes, and it's a, it's a two-week trip. It's a big trip. Um, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. It is a part of a tour group, um, which is fine <laughs> and good with me. Uh, I don't know any Chinese at all. I cannot read or speak or understand it. So going to China as an American tourist, um, you're probably going to benefit the most from being with a tour group. So we're actually going with Gate One, which is a company that we went with uh, for Greece. And they've done before. And Mark and Rhonda have done on other trips. And it's actually, they've been really great. Um, they there's There's been a lot of great things to, to say about Gate One. So I think that they're probably going to do a really good job this time as well. So... Are you looking forward to the trip? I am. There's been so much preparation because like not only is there work preparation, but like we had to get vaccines that we were missing. Yeah. We had to get visas. We've had to do a bunch of stuff. The visas were a pain. Yeah. They were a pain. It could have been worse though. It could have been worse? Yeah. If we would have went and did it ourselves at the embassy. Yeah. That would have been worse. That would have been worse. That would have been worse. So yeah, there's been a lot of behind the scenes stuff to even prepare for this trip. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm super excited for it. Uh, when Mark and Rhonda surprised us at Thanksgiving last year, it was while they were here that they said, you know, we wanna, you know, next year is your year to go on a trip because they alternate with us and Carly. Mm -hmm. We alternate years. And um, they said, it's, it's, you know, your year, let's, let's look at what's, what's out there. So we all sat down for a few hours <laughs> and actually talked about all of the options that we had 
And we each had different things that we liked, but the thing, the, the common denominator on everyone's list was China. We thought China would be really interesting culturally and then also just there's so much history. Obviously China is old, it's very old. So um, we settled on China and now we're going to China. And honestly, if, if I'm very realistic, it's freaked me out for months just for the fact that I've still been trying to get caught up from Japan and the idea of going to uh, another, do, do another international trip. I'm like, oh my God, how am I ever going to deal with all this? But um, I've done pretty good about getting caught up. We've gotten settled into our new place. And then also one of the things that is very different from this trip compared to Japan, at least from a work point of view for me, is that when we were in Japan, I had to contend with Jeff's footage as well. It made the Japanese vlogs, that, that whole trip, like really cool. But it was also a ton of extra work, not only to include his uh, footage with my footage in a way that made sense sequentially, but then also to grade his footage because whenever I shoot my, my vlog, I try to do a lot of stuff in camera so I don't have to do it in post because it saves me time. Jeff's footage was very flat, um, which is good if you want to grade it, but it made it, you know, a lot of effort to, to do for me uh, whenever I finally got it later. There's so. also other factors that are going to help out this time. We don't yeah. have the TRG Coliseum right after. Yeah, I'm there's... Not going to Wisconsin right after. There's We're some, not moving. Yes, those factors are also going to play a big difference. So, like... I, I have been very cautious to tell people, like right now, as of this second, we haven't even announced publicly, um, by the time you guys get this vlog, obviously we will have told breakfast stream, but we haven't even announced where we're going or the scope because I know people are going to freak out. They're going to say, holy crap, the vlogs will never catch up. And I don't feel like that is necessarily the case. There's a lot that's different this time around. Um, and the other thing is that I've decided to not take my laptop um, for a variety of reasons, but one of the cool things about not taking it is that I can't dump footage, which means I'm going to have a set number of memory cards with me. There's a set number of hours that I can capture on this trip. I mean, I guess I could always go buy an SD card while we're in, in China, but um, I've got you know a certain amount of footage that I can capture, and I think that's going to help me subconsciously make sure that I'm capturing only what I think I'll use. I've gotten good about that just in general in 10 years of vlogging. Um, I try not to shoot anything that I don't think I'm actively going to include in the edit. Um, but more now more than ever, it's like, you know, you have a limited amount of space. Don't blow it. And I'm going to try and keep that in mind. And otherwise, we're just, you know, running around with like chickens with their heads cut off around here because there's just... There's so much to do. Mal's been working on her painting and it's almost done. You almost. probably will have it finished tomorrow. I hope so. I, uh, I, when I finished Red Dead, was that last night? Yes. It feels like a thousand years ago. When I finished that last night, that was a big deal for me because that was also the last of the recording I needed for the trip. And now I'm in the next phase where I just have to schedule weeks worth of content on Steven Plays, which takes forever. And while I'm doing that, I'm also trying to edit a bunch of vlogs so I can have a vlog release every single day while we're gone. That's a lot of work. That's a ton of work to try and get done. And the clock is ticking. We leave early Friday morning, and that means that we have Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday as full days. We got three days left, because it's now the end of Monday. So, you know, am I a little stressed? A little bit, but I, I don't get super stressed until it's like the dawn of the last day. That's when I'm like, oh God. So right now I got two more days before I'm like completely feeling it. Um, and your painting looks so good. Thank and you. and like, I really think you're gonna have it finished. Yeah. I think you're gonna be okay. Yeah. It's rough. It's rough, but we're, we're getting there. Anyway, so that's where we're going. There's also other things that's we're stressed gonna... about. There's a hurricane in the Atlantic. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Yeah, we, um, when we planned this trip, we didn't really think everything through, and we planned it during peak hurricane season for Myrtle Beach. So we're going to leave, and there's a hurricane coming. Cool. Um, we should know in a couple of days if it's coming this way or hitting Florida. Yeah. So yeah, that's not you know the most exciting thing, but we're trying not to think about that and just stay focused and get everything prepared and yeah, yeah. So that's that's our trip. That's our trip, um, and it, it's it's going to be great. I'm going to work very hard to 
make some memorable vlogs while we're there, obviously, and then to uh, work very hard when we get back to get it all set. Um, the big thing about this trip is that uh, we are leaving from Chicago, and uh, we actually talked about it a few weeks ago when we were getting the car fixed, like we need this car fixed for the trip, and it's because we're driving up to Chicago, and that's quite a drive for the car to make, but after getting a new alternator, I feel a lot more confident in being able to make that journey. Um, <laughs> we're just going to see what happens. Friday, we leave here early in the morning to drive to Muncie. We're going to stay with Chas and Jeff. Uh, and then on Saturday, we're actually staying a whole day in Muncie because we never got to see them in July for Thomas's moon party. So we're going to stay there for a day. And then on Sunday, we drive up to Milwaukee where Mark and Rhonda live, be there that night. And then on Tuesday, we go from there to Chicago and fly to China. That's where we'll start our two week journey. Uh, and then when we're done, we'll come back to Milwaukee and then basically take the same path in reverse, go to Muncie and then back home. So it's a long trip. Um, that's why we've been so crazy lately is because there's been so much to prepare so people will have things to watch while we're gone. Um, and then because we're now doing live streaming uh, on Twitch, it's been a little weird because we, we haven't missed one in one in, for an entire year. Like whenever we finish Thursday stream, that's one year completed where we didn't miss any. And as soon as we hit that mark, it's like, all right, and now we're going to miss two weeks. <laughs> So maybe we'll come up with a solution or maybe we'll get lucky and our VPN will be fast enough in China to stream. I don't know. I'm not holding out hope, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk more about this whenever it gets closer and get closer it is. We make the drive on Friday. Yeah. Deep breaths, deep breaths. We, uh, we have to push our, um, our bedtime back one hour every night so we'll be able to get up early enough and have enough rest. So tonight we're going to bed at midnight, which is our normal time. Tomorrow, 11, then 10, then 9. And that'll mean on Friday we'll be able to wake up at 5 a.m. and things should be okay. I would say wish us luck, but it would be retroactive. But you still can. That's okay. That's fine. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?